welcome back to our ev program so today we are going to disclose you about how to identify a rotating magnetic field in a three phase induction motor so let us try to see here how to operate the three phase induction motor so you have the input to the varia keys r y b is given to an auto transformer and the output of the auto transformer is connected to the winding which is nothing but we have three windings a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 and you can see here the internal connection already we have the top one is a1 b1 c1 and the bottom one is c2 a2 b2 and we are going to interconnect in the form of an delta by connecting a1 c2 b1 a2 c1 b2 and you can see here we are going to give some sort of voltage so already three phase supply is available so just we are giving the power as soon as you give the power the voltage indicated is an line voltage and we are giving the excitation to the stator the input is an three phase supply therefore rotor of its own can generate an rotating magnetic field to how the rotating magnetic field is demonstrated we are keeping an small rotating ball which is nothing but a rotor so a rotating magnetic field is produced and all this rotating magnetic field are phase shifted with uh, 120 degrees let's try to see the demonstration so gradually by using an auto transformer we are applying some sort of voltage and you can see here physically we are giving the rotation okay slowly we are applying the voltage and gradually we are rotating the sphere you can see here it undergoes a rotating magnetic field and slowly it starts rotating so you see here now the rotor is rotating so this is the stator which is nothing but an rotating magnetic field of the three phase induction motor and the rotor is placed inside the and this rotor is rotating of its own okay so you can see this uh, demonstration how it works okay so we are increasing the voltage level to demonstrate the emf generated so now you can see the rotor is continuously rotating so this is nothing but you should not use your hand why because this is an a ac supply given and you can see here a rotating magnetic field is produced and the rotor is continuously rotating this is how to demonstrate a rotating magnetic field okay so try to experience how the rotating magnetic field is rotated with an spherical body okay so we are trying to reduce the voltage and it comes to the original condition and you can see here now the rotating magnetic field is zero and rotor has came to an initial condition and we are going to change it with the help of an so this is one type of a spherical rotor and we are going to insert this spherical rotor and gradually we are applying some voltage okay so gradually as soon as you apply the voltage you can see here the ball starts propelling okay so the ball starts propelling so by doing this experiment you should be very careful before doing this experiment okay so we had kept an a spherical i mean a coke tin bottle and slowly we are giving some voltage and you can see here the you see the beauty that now the rotor is rotating of its own okay so slowly the rotor is rotating since this is like an a spherical in nature and what is the concept here is we are giving an ac supply and the type of supply given to the stator is an rotating magnetic field and the rotor is rotating so let's try to experience better so this is nothing but rotor which is nothing but a spherical gauge rotor example so it is like an a cylindrical in nature and magnetic field is produced around it and you can see here how we actually it rotates so once again we are trying to apply some voltage and you can see here slowly it starts rotating
कट जी